My name is musician Seaman Dan Caton, and I'm a Navy guitarist assigned to the Fleet Forces Band in Norfolk, Virginia. The playing you heard in that short intro utilized a technique called cross picking. I hope that this short lesson gives you some new and fun ways to develop this technique. Guitar playing in bluegrass music is commonly referred to as flat picking because players use a single flat pick for playing both melody and rhythm, often with strict alternate picking. Cross picking is a common pattern that players learn within this style. It's similar in sound to the infamous banjo roll. Though I enjoy playing many styles of music, I'm particularly passionate about flat picking, and I've won and competed in many contests in this style all over the country and studied with some of the greats. So, if you think this is something that might interest you, I'll show you one simple exercise you can begin using to incorporate into your practice today. All you'll need is an acoustic guitar and a regular guitar pick. Remember, this exercise utilizes alternate picking in the right hand but only basic chord shapes in the left. Let me show you an example of what I mean. To do this exercise, go ahead and grab your basic C chord and starting on the A string or fifth string, we're going to start with a downstroke with the pick in the right hand and alternate pick the first three notes of the chord across the fifth, fourth, and third strings. Down, up, down. And again, keeping with our alternate picking pattern, up, down, up. Here's that exercise again, a little slower. For the second part of the exercise, we're going to keep everything the same in the right hand. The picking pattern stays the same, the strings stay the same. The only thing that changes is we're going to take the third finger and swap it out with the second finger on the same string and play the other strings open. It'll sound like this. Here's that exercise written out in sheet music and tab. Please feel free to pause the video for a moment to look at the exercise more closely. Now, let's put it all together and play it one more time. After this exercise, try applying it in other musical situations you already know and you'll be amazed at how useful it can be. Now while it might seem simple at first, the possibilities to develop it are limitless. And for those who might be interested, artists like Tony Rice, David Greer, and Clay Hess have developed such advanced flat picking styles that their sounds are iconic and they've helped shape the future of the music. So if you have time, get to know them. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you've learned something. Please take care, and thanks for watching.